Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is uh, place the first digit. We're going to be doing dividing with quotients and stuff, so this is our first lesson of the second chapter. Okay, so there's our common core strand, and our question is, uh, how can we tell where to place the first digit of a quotient without dividing? Well, we're going to be doing some actual division problems here also. So here's a problem. Tammy has eight boxes of crayons. In all, she counts 128 crayons. If each box has the same number of crayons, how many crayons are in the box? Okay. Well, let's underline the sentence that tells us what we're trying to find, and we'll circle the numbers we're going to use. Well, we're going to use these two numbers right here, and here's the question right here. How many crayons are in each box right there? And so how are we going to solve this problem? We're going to take those two numbers and divide. We're going to divide 128 divided by 8. All right, so here we go. We're going to first estimate. Let's use an estimate to place the first digit in the quotient. Okay, so think of nice friendly numbers that are multiples of 8. Like 8 times 1 is, is 8, so add a 0, 80. 8 times 2 is 16, is, uh, so add a 0 is 160. So numbers that end in 0 are nice numbers. And since 160 is closer to 128 than 80 is, then we'll just do 160. Now 160 is a bigger number, you guys, than 128, so our estimate's going to be bigger than the actual answer right here. Okay, so this is going to be 160 divided by, we're going to estimate, divided by 8, and, and divided, 8 goes into 16 two times. And then with this 0 right here, it's 20 right there. So our answer is going to be a little less than 20 right here, but at least we get a, a ballpark where we're going to uh, get an answer. So since 20 uh, is two tens, you guys, then the first digit of the quotient will be in the tens spot, you guys. So uh, 20 is two tens. It's going to be in the tens spot right here. So let's go ahead and divide the tens right here. So we're going to divide, here's 12 tens right here. That number is 128, but we're going to divide these 12 tens. So we're going to divide that by 8. Well, 8 goes into 12 one time, you guys. Then we multiply 8 times 1, which gives us 8 tens. So then we subtract 12 tens minus 8 tens is going to give us 4 tens. All right, and then, and then Four tens can't be shared among this eight right here, so we uh, we got to regroup, and we're going to bring the eight down in the next step right here. So, so we're going to regroup, and any tens left is ones, and then divide. So we'll slide that eight down right there, and then we'll divide uh, 48 ones. We're going to divide that by this eight right here. Well. Uh, that goes in there six times, so then we multiply six or eight times six ones gets us 48. Okay, do you know what we do after that? Well, then we subtract, you guys. We're going to subtract the 48 ones minus the 48 ones. That's going to give us zero ones. And so uh, zero ones can't be regrouped among the eight groups. Okay, so um, so we're done right there. When we get zero and there's nothing down to carry anymore, so so 16 is close to our estimate. Do you remember what our estimate was? It was 20, you guys. So it's close to our uh, estimate. Let's always answer the question in the context of the problem. This is talking about crayons, you guys. So there are 16 crayons in each box that Tammy had. Okay. All right. So here's another example. We're going to divide 4,236 divided by 5. All right. Remember, well, let's always do an estimate, you guys. Let's round this to 4,000. 5 goes into 48 times right here. So if we added two zeros, it would give us 800. Okay, now 4,000 is less than this, so this estimate right here is going to be less than the actual answer. So this answer will be a little bit larger than 800. Let's go ahead and get started here, you guys. So I'm going to go kind of fast on this one. So we're going to use the place value of the first digit. So 4,000s, this 4,000s can't be shared among the five equal groups right here. So we're going to have to go to the hundreds. So we're going to regroup to the hundreds. So look at the hundreds. And so we have the, the these hundreds right here. So 42 hundreds can be shared among uh, groups of five. How many times does uh, 4,200 uh, divided by 5, you guys? Well, 5 goes into 48 times, okay? And so then we multiply f um, uh, 5 times 8 hundreds right there. These multiply. We multiply these two numbers right here. So we get 40. Okay, so we'll put that in there, and then we're going to subtract 4,200 minus 4,000. So this 4,200 minus the 4,000. Notice it's in the hundreds spot right here, right above where the 8 is, okay? And then when we subtract, we're going to get uh, 200 right there. And then we can't, um, uh, 200s can't be shared among the five groups. So what are we going to do now? Okay, we're going to slide down, we're going to regroup and bring this 3 down right here, okay? So there that is right there, and then we take uh, 23 now and divide it by 5. And how many times is 5 going to 23 times? 4. So we put the 4 right here, 
and then we multiply again. Then we multiply 5 times this 4 right here. So 5 times 4 gets us 20. So we put that right down here. And then we subtract these two. And then when we subtract, we get um, uh, 3. Okay, and then um, uh, so we can't um, uh, share 3 among 5 groups right here. So uh, 3 can't be shared with groups of 5. So we've got to regroup and slide that next number down, that 6. Okay, and so we do it one more time. So 36 divided by 5. How many times does 5 go in there? I'm using my fingers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I can get 7 of them in there using my fingers. So the 7 goes up there, and then we multiply. 5 times 7 is 35, so that's what we write right down here, 35, okay? Starting to kind of ring a bell right there, and then we subtract, and so we get one more, okay? And then we check. One cannot be shared amongst the five groups. Now, we don't have anything to regroup right here, so this is our remainder right here, okay? So, um, uh, 4,236 divided by 5 is, you always start at the top and go, and go clockwise. So, 847 and go down here and with the remainder of 1. So, 847 with the remainder of 1. All right, later on we'll, do, uh, we'll change it to a mixed number, 847 and 1 fifth, but not right now we won't, you guys, okay? And so this is close to our estimate. Our estimate was 8, 800, you guys, and we knew that our answer would be a little bit larger than 800 right here, so our answer seems to be reasonable, okay? All right, hey, if you guys can, if you can get a chance, would you click like? Thanks a lot. Take care.